In this video, I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating on the carnivore diet, and I'm also gonna share with you three of my top fat loss tips that I've used personally to lose 60 pounds and that I implement with my one-on-one -on -one nutritional coaching clients to help them lose fat too. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Marcus and I've been helping busy folks lose fat and get healthy for the last 12 years now. And speaking of health, let's eat some food. There we have it, one pound of beef, four eggs, and a bunch of this Maldon smoked sea salt. I am obsessed with this stuff right now. The first fat loss tip is a nutrition related one, and it is to be mindful of extra added fats via the cooking process. For example, if you are cooking some ground beef, let's say, you don't need to put tallow or butter into the pan for the ground beef to cook because it already contains so much fat that it will not stick. That fat that is in the ground beef will coat the pan and cause no issues as far as the cooking process goes. This is a really easy and simple way to reduce the amount of calories that you're eating, which is going to lend itself to fat loss big picture. It's about five hours later and I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I don't think I'm hungry enough for a full meal, but I'm gonna dig into something. All right, I just did some bacon in the microwave for about five minutes, super easy, and I'm gonna nibble on this. I don't know about you, but I think I might prefer cold bacon to hot bacon. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But let me know your preference in the comments below. My second fat loss tip is to hit 10,000 steps per day or 70,000 over the course of the week as a whole. And this is going to help you as far as anchoring your circadian rhythm via light exposure. You're gonna burn some cows via the movement process. You are going to regulate your appetite. So hormones like leptin and ghrelin, those will regulate. Walking is actually super underrated when it comes to fat loss. People tend to overestimate workouts and underestimate walking. For my clientele, I let them know that walking is a baseline movement must. And if they want to work out on top of that, even better. But we prioritize our step counts on a daily and weekly basis. All right, it is dinner o'clock. We are gonna do one of these salmon fillets here with some eggs. Oh yeah, that came out nice and crispy on the top. There we have it, the finished product. Five eggs and a salmon fillet topped with some smoked Maldon salt. Dinner is served. My third fat loss tip is sleep related. Most folks are gonna fall between seven and nine hours per night. That's gonna have them feeling rested and alert all day. Now, we want to make sure that we're getting enough sleep because like walking, hormones like leptin and ghrelin are regulated via the sleep process. And so we want to make sure that we are waking up feeling rested and alert every day that also is going to provide us with the energy that we need to dial in our nutrition, hit our step counts. Everything is sort of feeding into one another. We want the snowball effect to be working in our favor as opposed to against us. It is much easier to paddle downstream than it is to paddle upstream against the current. So getting great sleep is an awesome way to set ourselves up for success when it comes to fat loss. That was delicious. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to, feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this one as well.